Welcome to Electron Online, and here we have our next example of acid-base titrations. In this case, we have a slightly different angle on how the problem is worded, so let's read the problem, get a feel for it. It asks, what volume of 0.0962 molar sodium hydroxide is required to neutralize 10 milliliters of 0.128 molar hydrochloric acid? So, what are we looking for? We're looking for what volume? So this is the question. We're not looking for the molarity of a, known, of a, of a solution. We're now looking for how much of a base we need to neutralize a certain amount of acid. So the equation is still the same. The molarity of the acid will be equal to the molarity of the base times the number of hydroxide ions produced by the base per molecule times the volume of the base, and we divide that all by the number of hydrogen ions produced by the acid, per molecule of the acid, divided by the volume of the acid. So the information about the base is on the numerator, and the information of the acid is in the denominator. Okay, I think I have one too many arrows there. All right. So, notice, if we're looking for something about the acid here, in this case the molarity of the acid, we want all the information of the base in the numerator and all the information of the acid in the denominator. But in this case, we're not looking for the molarity, we're looking for the volume of the base. We're looking for this quantity right here. So all we have to do here is take that very same equation and solve it algebraically for that, for the volume of the base. Which means we're going to take these two quantities and move them up here and take those two quantities and move them down here. So that's what the new equation will look like. Looking for my pen here. So we have the molarity of the acid. Okay, now we're going to take this and move it across to this side of the equation. So if we divide on the right side, that means we multiply on the left side. So the number of hydrogen ions times the volume goes up here, the volume of the acid. Now we take the molarity base and move it to the denominator because here we're multiplying, so we move it across, we're dividing on this side, so this is the molarity of the base. And likewise, we take the number of hydroxide ions, move it to the other side equation. If we're multiplying here, we have to divide on this side, so that would be the number of the hydroxide ions. And that will then equal the only thing that remains on the right side, which is the volume of the base, which is what we're looking for. Now all we have to do is plug in the numbers. So the molarity of the acid was given to us as 0.128. The number of hydro hydrogen ions uh, produced by the acid. In this case, we have hydrochloric acid. So when this dissociates in water, it produces one hydrogen per um, HCl molecule. So that would be just one. And then we have the volume of the acid, which they told us was 10 milliliters. We divide the whole thing by the molarity of the base, which they told us is 0.962 moles per liter and then the only thing left is the number of hydroxide ions produced and for sodium hydroxide there's only one of those per sodium hydroxide molecule so just one and that will give us the volume of the base but finally when we crank all that out on the calculator the volume of the base will be equal to and so we take 0.128 times 10 divided by 0.0962 equals, and it looks like 13.3 milliliters. All right, now, does that make sense? Well, let's see here. Since the number of hydroxide ions per atom is one, and the number of hydrochloric acid, uh, the number of hydrogen ions per hydrochloric acid molecule is one, then that means that if the concentration is less you will need more volume to neutralize the acid. And so, more volume makes sense because the uh, molarity or the concentration is less. So, it makes sense in this case. All right, and that's how you do that.